Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so this week I've been working on a certain project and it's more of a DIY and uh, it involves this table. If you've been watching my videos, you know that this place, it didn't just look like this, it was also this table. I decided to enclose it because initially it was kind of open. It's a space where we store our extra shopping and also our gas is here. So I just I wanted to I wanted to like achieve a clean look. So that's the reason as to why I decided to just enclose it. So yeah, and also on top of the table, it didn't used to look like this. It had a certain it had a certain rack, but uh, I removed it because I wanted to go with this style. And when I did that, I noticed that this space is kind of empty. It's like it's missing something. So today I want to work on this space and also another thing that I want to do is to finish on the to finish on the table because I've not yet installed the handles. So that is what I want to do right now as I do as I work on this part. And so basically guys that is what I will be doing today and I hope that it turns out the way I envision and that you also do like it. By the way, if you're new here, feel most welcome. My name is Bimonica and this channel is all about home cleaning, home organization and home deco. And if that is the kind of content that you are interested in, kindly hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified each and every time I post new videos. Uh, so guys, before anything else, I would like to share with you the whole process, how it began and how it ended. Uh, in as much as this was a do-it-yourself kind of project, I at some point needed some help, so I had to outsource it. The team I worked with did such an amazing job. Yeah, initially, I was uh, kind of thinking of removing the whole table from this space entirely, but uh, I'm glad the idea I had worked so well and that I got to save it because it's also adding some counter space in the kitchen. So guys, the first thing that we did was take exact measurements of the table. I had to be precise because if I skipped even an inch, then it would mess the whole thing and that would mean a repeat of the same. So after taking the measurements, we then went to a hardware where the hood was cut and trimmed perfectly according to the size that I wanted. Uh, and being that I already have a drill, the work was much easier now. And closing the hole of it, the contact paper was then installed. Actually, I had thought of painting the table white, but uh, we were advised against that at the hardware because of the hood material. It will not suffice. Uh, it would work, yes, but after a period of time, not long, the paint would peel off. So I then decided to just use a contact paper. So guys, now that the table is done, uh, I want to work on this space. And by the way, I like measuring whenever I want to do anything because the dimensions do matter a lot. Yeah, even before purchasing an item, I always ensure to first of all measure the space that it will be used and uh, if it would work according to how I want it. This gives me a cohesive alignment that at the end of the project, I never have regrets. So I got this beautiful shelf from my K Homes. Its length is 50 centimeters and it should work perfectly for this space. 
YK Homes is on Instagram and they do have a variety of deco items which you will love. You can check them out and by the way guys, I seem to be stuck on my Instagram account. How about we do this? If you haven't followed me on Instagram, just kind of pause and give me a follow because I intend to grow that account. And uh, yeah, I would highly appreciate it if you did that. Just give me a follow and uh, yeah. So guys, this before video on the kitchen made me appreciate the milestone that I've made as a person and how that uh, a small improvement can make a space look entirely different. I've always said that I'm making these changes gradually and during today's project made me realize that a makeover is a very fulfilling feeling. No matter the speed and time that it takes to work on something, I believe that eventually it will turn out the way you want it. I love my kitchen right now and whenever I walk in through that door, the feeling overwhelms me. Uh, so guys, I will stop there for today. The video was a little bit short and I'm glad you joined me and thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one.